What's up YouTube? This is Demkeys back again with another Unity tutorial and today I'm going to teach you about raycasting. What is raycasting? Say for example you're developing an FPS game and you want to find out whether the player has shot the enemy or not. You can cast a ray from the player camera in the direction that the camera is facing using physics.raycast. This will cast a ray against all the colliders in the scene so if the ray intersects a collider along the way you can check to see if the collider belongs to your enemy and if it does that means you have successfully shot the enemy. Then you can uh, apply damage to the enemy. There are many other uses of raycasting. This is just one of them. Let's begin. So far the scene contains a plane, a cube and a point light. The cube, is, the cube has a red material on it. Let's add our character. I have already imported our... just a minute. Okay, sorry about this. I forgot to remove this script. Okay. Yes, I have already imported our character controller package. You can do that by right-clicking in your project panel and clicking import package and character controller. Okay. So I am going to add the FPS character onto the scene and now I'm going to create a script for the character. Call it Raycast script. Okay, so let's add some, some code to the script. The first thing we need to do is create a Raycast hit variable and call this hit. What, what is Raycast hit? It is a structure used to get back information from a raycast. So if we are using physics.raycast, then we can actually store the information of whatever object has been hit and we can access things like the name, the tag, or the components, or even the components variables. A lot of things can be done using raycast hit. Okay, so next we are going to create an if statement that will get input from our mouse the left mouse button within that if statement we'll create another if statement and here we are going to use physics.raycast okay so the first parameter that we need to enter is the origin where is the ray being cast from that would be transform.position so that is our character's current position next we are to provide the direction. S yeah. Next we are to provide the direction. That would be transform dot forward. Now some of you may not know this. I myself didn't know this. I very recently found it out. There's something called transform dot forward. You can use this to hold on, let's go back here. I'll show you exactly what it is. Now you can see our character is facing in this direction. So currently this is transform dot forward. Sorry, this is forward for our for our character. So when you type transform dot forward, you're talking about this direction. Suppose if I rotate the character. Right now this is forward. If I rotate it further going that side this is forward so yeah yeah so let's move on next we have to let the method know that we want the recast hit information to go into our hit variable and so we will write out hit. Uh, next we can use a, a layer mask as well but I'm not going to use that. Let me tell you exactly what it's for. A layer mask is used to selectively ignore colliders when casting array. Like maybe you might want to shoot through some object but not actually count that object as being shot. You want to count the object that's shot after it or something like that. 
I hope you get the point. Okay. So this if condition is going to first cast a ray and ray cast returns true or false. As you can see it's public static bool. So it's going to return true or false. So basically if physics.raycast is true, that means if the ray actually hits something, then this if condition is going to run. So what do we want to do after that is after it is run? We want to for now let's just use debug.log and write hit. Okay. Now let's run this game. Okay. Uh, maybe full screen is not a good idea. I have to show you the console. Yeah. So if I shoot in this direction, oh, sorry. All right. So if I shoot here, nothing happens. However, if I come back here, you can see each time I click the mouse, the left mouse button, I get a message on the console saying hit because that's what we wrote in the script. Next, let's do something more fun. Writing hit on the console is kind of boring. So, first of all, let's add a tag to our enemy, I mean to our queue. We'll call this tag enemy. Wait, before adding that tag, let me make a copy of this cube so I can actually show you an example of this function working. All right. Um, what next? You know, let me let me remove this material. Can I remove it? No. Oops. Okay. Never mind. Just let the color remain the same. What was I going to do next? Yes. Let's add script to our queue. Before that, add the enemy tag. Keep in mind this cube does not have the enemy tag. It's this cube. So, let's add a script. Call this cube script. Okay, so let's start by creating a public float variable, call it jump force. Oh, and also a public bool, call this uh, is short. Initially, let this be false. In the update function, let's add an if statement saying if is short is equal to true then rigid body dot add force vector 3 dot up into jump force I just realized I haven't oh yes I have already added a rigid body to the queue okay now let's give this a force of around 400. Okay, now we have to go back to the race raycast script and change some code. We have to add one more if statement within this if statement to check if 
hit dot collider dot game object dot tag is equal to enemy. So this is going to check if the information or let's say the object that our ray hit whether that object contains uh, the enemy tag or not has the enemy tag or not okay if it does then hit dot collider dot game object dot get component cube script dot is short is equal to true what we are doing here is we are accessing our game object through the hit the hit variable so that's hit dot collider dot game object we, we use collider dot game object because the ray is not intersecting the object it's actually intersecting the collider and so that's why you get information from hit saying which collider you hit I need the game object that's connected to that sorry that the collider is actually attached to and then you get the component which is in this case our cube script and we are accessing the variable is short from that script we are going to set the value to true yes I forgot one thing in the cube script once this line has executed is short should be equal to false So it applies the force just once. It applies the force each time the ray is cast. <coughs> Am I forgetting something? No, I'm not. All right. So we've got two cubes here. I'm going to first shoot this cube. Nothing happens. Now let me move on to this cube. As you can see, when I shoot the cube, or when the ray is cast and it hits the cube, then the cube jumps. We can do any number of things, like uh, it's not necessary just, you know, make the cube jump or something. We can, we can also destroy the cube. Like, destroy um, hit <coughs> dot collider dot game object let's try this on this it doesn't work because this cube does not have the enemy tag on this it does and the cube has been destroyed so that is how you use physics.raycast. Okay, let me show you one more thing before we end the tutorial. You must have noticed uh, I am only able to make the cube jump once. Let me add that line back again. L let me show you the thing again. Sorry. I can only make it jump once. No matter, even if I look up, I'm not able to make the cube jump. The reason for this is Currently, the ray is being cast from my capsule, not from the camera. Although the camera is attached to this capsule, the ray is being cast from the capsule, not from the camera. So, so what's happening is, when the camera is looking up, the ray is still being cast from the capsule straight, not, not in an upwards direction. In order to do that, we need to remove the script from the capsule and instead 
attach it to our main camera. So now what's going to happen is wherever the camera is looking, the ray is going to be cast in whatever direction is considered forward by the camera. Let's test this out. As you can see, it works perfectly. I can make the camera, uh, I can make the cube jump more than once. So yeah, that's it. This is how Raycast works. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Check out these other videos as well. The video on the top left teaches you how to use the interactive cloth. The video on the top right shows you some simple level design. And the video on the bottom left corner teaches you how to use Unity's mechanism system. Visit my channel for more videos. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Is he saying names? Is he quote? Is he fame? Is he even still the same? Claiming Lord's boys, but we never seen him main. I don't cover now on album when he get the chance to hang. Like, damn. One, three, four. Niggas acting like I never been through them. Dope.